What's up guys, it's Matt back with you again from Affordable Vape TV. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Mini Volt. Look at this little guy. Alright, beautiful little guy from Council of Vapor. Uh, we'll take her down below, show you all the uh, features and specs of this guy, the box, unboxing, all that good stuff, what you get in the package. Comes with this tank on top here, this little mini sub ohm tank. Uh, this one is a 0.8 uh, resistance. Uh, this thing goes up to 40 watts. It's a beautiful little guy. Pocket size, very convenient. Look how small it is in your hand. I have kind of small hands and this thing almost fits in my palm completely. I really like it. So without any further ado, let's take her on down, uh, show you everything about it. We'll come back up, let you know where I got it from, and uh, yeah, let's take a two. Council of Vapor. This is a 40 watt device, built in battery in this guy. We're going to charge it right from the bottom there. Alright, comes with a charging cord. Um, comes with this tank on it as well. Uh, comes with two coil heads for this guy. Bottom airflow on here. Spit back protection on the inside. This is almost like a rubberized material on the inside. Metal around. And you have your spit back protection on the inside. Now, a couple little features for you here. Turns off five clicks. One, two, three, four, five. Off. And back on. One, two, three, four, five. Council of Vapor. All right. Now this thing does have like a locked wattage mode. You can't touch these right here and get your wattage to move. What you're going to want to do is hit the fire button and the wattage up button or the up button at the same time. It's going to blink at you. Be able to change your watch in increments of 0.1. All right. Set it, just hit the fire button again. Okay. Now the bottom button and the fire button simultaneous takes you from power to standard to soft mode. We're just going to go to power mode. Bam. Straight like that. Uh, really cool device. Fits right in the palm of my hand. Uh, this is a great little device, device to take with you on the go. Um, battery life on it is okay for its size. Um, doesn't really take up a lot of room anywhere you put it, in your hand, your pocket, your car, wherever you want to go. Um, really convenient, really nice rubberized design right here, carbon fiber. Really nice, I like this thing. Uh, shout out to my buddy Patrick for letting me borrow it to, for this review. Uh, I used it all last week when I was in the hospital with my wife as she was uh, delivering our baby. Um, it really saved my butt. Didn't want to really bring uh, a charging station and all that kind of stuff with me. Uh, I really like that it has the uh, the built-in battery. Just had to bring a little charging plug. You know, the the less I brought to the hospital, the better. So I brought this one and the R80, which is also a built-in. We're gonna have a review on that coming up real soon too. But yeah, really nice guy. Let's go over the box a little bit. All right, so here is the box that this guy comes in. Hey, you can see me right there. Hi. All right, cool. Nice shiny box there. All right, opens right up. And this is where your mod's going to be. Tank's going to be on this side. Take this little paper piece off here. Folds out. Bam. We have the black version, 40 watt. Okay. Opens right up. And right here, you're going to have your extra uh, coil head that it comes with. Uh, right here is where your, your charging cable is going to be. Comes with a few extra goodies in here. Extra piece of glass. A couple extra O-rings. Nothing fancy about that, but good that it comes with extra glass. That's awesome. Uh, let's take a look at the back side here. Council of Vapor. Council of Vapor puts out some cool stuff. I got a few items from them. 
Um, really nice. I enjoy their products a lot. Um, this thing was relatively cheap, I believe. I'll have to go online and uh, and check out where to buy these things, but I believe it's like 35 or 40 bucks for the whole kit. Comes with everything you're gonna need except for juice. Um, so yeah, really like this guy. Um, really convenient, take around with you. Like I said, it doesn't take up a lot of room. It's been sturdy so far. I've been using it for about a week. I enjoy it. Uh, flavor out of this tank is pretty good. Um, I haven't found any other coils that fit it except for these ones. I try to put in like a, a Triton 2 Clapton coil in here. The threadings are slightly different on these coil heads. Um, they have like a, a dip to them and then the threading starts. So the yeah, as you know, like a spire coil, the threading is all the way from the top and feeds down. Um, so I tried to put it in there, just wasn't taking it in the smaller tank, which is okay. Um, kind of a con that it only takes its own proprietary coil, correct me if I'm wrong, but that's all I found that works in it so far. But all in all, good little device, um, really like it, um, really convenient, hits like a champ for how small it is, I was surprised, I didn't really think this thing was going to work all too well, um, but it surprised me. Um, tanks looking real good on there, sits so nice and flush. And yeah, I mean, anytime you could spend 40 bucks on a full kit that's going to come with everything you need except for juice, it's a win. Um, mods nowadays are getting ridiculous in their pricing, so are tanks. Um, so yeah, to get this thing for, for around $40 for a kit, it, it's, a solid, it's a solid little device. So yeah, really happy with this thing. All right, and we're back on top with the Mini Volt by Council of Vapor. Uh, I actually got this from my buddy Patrick uh, at my place of employment. He let me borrow it for this review. I really like this thing. Shout out to Patrick. Thank you so much for letting me borrow this. I'll get it back to you as soon as I'm done with it here. Um, yeah, but I'll put a link in the description of where you can find it online. I think it's relatively cheap. I, um, but it's a great little buy, you know. Uh, if you're just getting started with vaping, you want something with an internal battery, you can just charge and go. Uh, this is the mod for you. Um, compact pocket size, it pretty much fits anywhere you want it to go. Um, but yeah, thanks again for tuning in to Affordable Vape TV. Don't forget to sign the Kazaa petition uh, to keep our hobby alive. And please like, share, and subscribe to Affordable Vape TV. We'll see you guys next time.